everybody, King Corvish here. Soul Silver Live Sweet. Jake Boy, welcome to the live stream! That was a super hype intro. Thank you so much. I King Corfish here and welcome to another update video here on the channel. You can already see it in the title, you can already see it in the thumbnail, you can already see it in the freaking intro moment for this update video. It is sleep lock time again, baby! We only do one sleep block a year here on the channel. We do it to celebrate my birthday and this year's sleep block just might be the biggest most special one yet. I hope you're all excited because I have a lot in store. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. Literally tomorrow, October 31st, 2020, at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern, noon Eastern time. If you live in another time zone, Google time zone 12 p.m. Eastern, whatever, whatever, whatever. Figure it out for yourself because it's gonna be 12 p.m. Eastern. We're gonna be doing our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire 21st birthday sleep lock. Guys, I'm drinking the Sonic the Hedgehog G Fuel again, so I'm sorry if my tongue looks a little... So when I announced this live stream a little bit ago, I saw so many comments from you guys asking, hey Ryan, what's a sleep block? So I really wanted to make sure to make a quick update video and go over the rules so then we're all on the same page with the live stream. So a sleep block follows the rules of a normal Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first encounter in any root and slash or area. If a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and you're no longer allowed to use it anymore. And you must nickname every single encounter that you do catch in order to form an emotional bond with them. For the live stream tomorrow, we'll We'll be naming all of our encounters after everybody in the member squad. So if you're interested in having a nickname for our team members in the Alpha Sapphire Sleep Block tomorrow, uh, consider hitting the join button underneath this video. You don't have to though, because it's not uh, required by any means. It's just a little bit of an extra perk that comes along with going the extra mile to support what we love to do here on the channel. However, a Sleep Block has a couple extra rules on top of a normal Nuzlocke to make it a little bit extra spicy. So a sleep block goes like this. You're not allowed to end the live stream until one of three things happens. Either you win the Nuzlocke, you lose the Nuzlocke, or you are too tired and you fall asleep in real life. This means that it will be a non-stop live stream until the very end. And of course, because it's my 21st birthday, we're gonna give me a little bit of drinking involved in this live stream, because I can now, it's so exciting. <laughs> I found the rules to a Nuzlocke drinking game on Reddit a few weeks ago, and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's use this set of rules and give it a shot for the sleep block. I'm actually reading the rules off my other monitor over here because I'll be honest with you, at the time of recording this update video, I don't know the rules off the top of my head and I most likely won't know the rules off the top of my head during the stream because I'll be drinking, so. Honestly, I'm gonna need a lot of you guys in the chat to be on top of me with the rules that we'll have set in place and make sure that we do the Nuzlocke correctly. <laughs> and I swear to God, everybody in the chat will be polite about the way that they're on top of me about the rules that we have in place because if I see a single hate comment, my drunk ass will politely have my mods take care of it. Thanks guys, I love you. Mod squad. <laughs> so the first rule that I'm reading off this list right here says healing at the Pokemon Center costs one drink per Pokemon. I'm gonna change that to just, we take a drink every time that we use the Pokemon Center because I feel like if we got to the point of taking six drinks per heal, that'd be ridiculous and I'm not trying to kill my liver. If we lose a Pokemon, we have to finish our drink. Oh, good God. <laughs> we have to drink 10 if you kill a catchable encounter by accident. Five if you just put it down because it needs to die. So more or less, we gotta catch everything that we run into. I can't just be like, oh shoot, that's a Wurmple. I can't believe I just threw my Sonic the Hedgehog G fuel. I could have like, put a hole in my wall, Jesus Christ. You have to drink for every wild encounter after your first catchable encounter.
No. <laughs> like, I'm actually gonna straight up veto that one. My reason for vetoing that one is because this is a sleep lock and we'll be doing this whole playthrough in one sitting. Like if I were playing this Nuzlocke in sessions, like maybe like an hour to two or three sessions every time that I was doing this playthrough for this Alpha Sapphire game, I feel like that'd be a little bit more reasonable, but because like I'll be streaming for like over 20 hours, potentially even longer, you know? So I should probably not <laughs> constantly drink, you know what I mean? And a drink for any penalty of these rules. I almost want to scratch that one as well because it's a sleep block and it'll be a nonstop live stream. But that's more or less all the rules that we'll be playing with for this sleep block. So besides all of the things going on for the sleep block tomorrow, I'm also insanely excited to get to finally announce that the Team Pineapple t-shirts are available. Uh, if you click the link underneath the video for the update video here, uh, you should be able to go buy a Team Pineapple t-shirt. Uh, also, during the live stream, I'm hoping I'll be able to do the thing where the t-shirt can be like pinned to the top of the chat and like there'll be like a big old picture of the shirt like underneath the live stream for you guys to get to click on and all that fun stuff. Again, nobody is required with buying a t-shirt or anything like that. I just love putting them out because this design is so damn sick. Uh, it was designed by Aaron Gray, who's another content creator here on the internet. He streams over at twitch.tv slash Aaron Gray. Such an amazing content creator. I literally watched his stream for a little bit earlier today. Uh, he started a Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke and oh my God, this man is hilarious. So. Definitely check them out if you're into that sort of thing over on Twitch. So one of the perks of being a part of the Team Pineapple member tier is that some of the profits from the uh, membership every single month goes towards a charity and us as Team Pineapple discuss and choose a charity every single month to donate to. So normally we discuss a charity to donate to every single month and that's what we do as Team Pineapple. But for the month of October, I decided to tell you guys, hey, I'd like to choose the charity this month because hey, it's my birthday, it's the sleep block month and uh, hopefully you guys are cool with that. So for October 2020, we're gonna be donating to the National Alliance of Mental Health. So throughout the sleep block tomorrow, if you do happen to become a member of Team Pineapple, I just want you to know that some of the membership money will be going towards an amazing cause. Oh, geez. Hi, this is Ryan, two hours in the future. I had to cut this update video recording session into two separate occasions and I'm cold now, so I put on a hoodie. No more pineapple shirt. <laughs> All right, changing topics. I'm sure you guys know this already because I've been talking about it a lot in the content lately, but uh, as of recently, I've been watching a lot of the commentary community uh, and a lot of content creators within that section of YouTube. I don't wanna reveal anything about the opening to this sleep block, but what I do wanna say is that what these guys all do is kind of reaction content, and it's really fun for me to watch. That's what I've been having a lot of fun, you know, laying in bed at night watching and all that kind of fun stuff on YouTube. So I thought it'd be really cool if anybody in the core click wants to record themselves watching the opening to the sleep block, you know, like watching the beginning with everybody in the chat, you know, getting everybody's reaction together and kind of experiencing it like that. If you tweet me a video of you watching the opening to the sleep block, I'll retweet it and uh, maybe even include it in a separate reaction video where we showcase a lot of this stuff. What do you guys think of that idea? Because I know that there actually are quite a bit of content creators in the core click uh, who do love the channel and love uh, hanging out here in the community. Figured it'd be really cool to get to showcase some of your guys' stuff. So if you guys want to watch the opening to the sleep block, add some edits, make it into your fun own little video along the lines of these guys, because I'm having a lot of fun trying to put out stuff along the lines of these guys. I'll be real. <laughs> that being said as well, I'm also going to have somebody in the room at all times with me during the sleep block. So then that way uh, they could be on my phone or something and kind of control my Twitter and retweet a lot of dope stuff that you guys do or send to me throughout the live stream. So make sure you're following me at King Corefish. A lot of really big announcements go on over there and I'll be real. I'm just way better at communication over on Twitter rather than here on YouTube. Like I'll remember to community post stuff sometimes, but not all the time. Twitter, I do a much better job. So if you wanna be a lot more in tune with what's going on in the community, the core click and all the stuff with the channel, definitely Twitter is the place to do that. And you can also get to be part of a lot of real fun shenanigans that we do on the channel. Aside from that, we're also going to be having a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire three-way versus dropping on this channel on November 2nd. It's on a Monday. Hopefully you guys are excited for that project. And yeah, we'll still have Generation Race going up and kicking it on the channel every Sunday and Wednesday. So thank you all so much for your support as of lately on the channel because we've been killing it. Uh, now that the sleep block is coming up, 
uh, after that big live stream, we're gonna get back into just consistent daily live streams here on the channel. I know I kind of fell back on those uh, while I was getting everything prepped for this big live stream. Uh, so just kind of apologizing for the lack of consistency with the streams, but I do have to admit the videos I've never been more proud of the video content I've been putting out as of lately. Me and Matt have been an amazing team so far. It's like he just knows how to take my vision and do it for me so I can put my focus into bigger, better, more ambitious things. It's just so much better for everything moving forward. I cannot wait until you guys see a lot of the stuff that we've got in store for the rest of the year. We've been doing sleep blocks here on the channel every single year ever since I was like 14 years old in 2014. So. It's crazy to see how far everything has grown and how far we've all come as a community. One of my favorite sleep blocks that I've ever done was the Pokemon Leaf Green sleep block my sophomore year of high school. I actually made a death montage video of that sleep block uh, after we did it, and that is one of my favorite videos on the channel still to this day, and I highly recommend checking it out if you want to see how we do sleep blocks here on the channel if you are new, if you haven't seen our previous sleep block, the Pokemon Black sleep block. In fact, I'm feeling a little bit crazy, and if you've been around on the channel the past few years, you know what I'm about to ask of the core click. I think that we should go give a comment spam on the Pokemon Leaf Green Sleep Block Death Montage video. We do this every year because I'm freaking crazy. This year for the 2020 Leaf Green Sleep Block comment section spam, I want all of you to leave the comment. Hoenn and Sinnoh, yeah, we're playing different games. Fuck the system, we don't listen. We are going insane. <laughs> I know how hyped you guys get to the co-op sleep blog grab. Oh, good God, I love that meme. <laughs> but I don't want to talk all of your ears off. I think that is everything that I need to talk about. Thank you all so much for your support, as always, because it is truly the reason why I'm going to get to do what you're all about to see on Saturday. I am living my freaking dream, man. Content creation has been my passion ever since I was a kid. And we're never gonna stop grinding because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, man. We're not taking this for granted. We're gonna literally keep grinding, growing the family, and just seeing where this whole journey takes us. Thank you so much for being along on the ride so far. And let's go kill it this Saturday. I'll see you all at noon. Love you guys and peace, peace.